So yeah guys, welcome to the session. I'm really excited to show this to you as it will hopefully make your life easier as well when it comes to retargeting complex systems like ALS to another character. Like I'm using here UE, the UE5 many and today, I, oh, not today, <laughs> during the last sessions I had a lot of issues to get it working properly. And the, things, uh, the thing is that some things or some bugs appear in, in the archaic implementation in 5.1 I think they are also available in 5.0 I'm using here 5.1 let me show this to you so here is Unreal Engine 5.1 it was published a few days or weeks ago I don't remember it anymore but it's it's there now for us and we have a lot of new features like better reflections and so on I really like this version and I'm currently transitioning from 5.0 5.0 to 5.1 but yeah this video is not about the new features there are so better so much better content or videos on YouTube where the where the guys show you the new features but I will show you a way and how we can fix yeah broken animations basically also there's a link and there's a link in this video on the description of this video down below where you can find the latest devlog about TT Toolbox and there you see about which topics I currently cover. So I'm currently transitioning for to 5.1 this project so that we can still use it with the latest version and also bring some new features. So if you are interested there's a link about the devlog 5 and also I'm creating a new series about how we can retarget the UE5 many without any coding we just use the plugin and get things working and there I stepped into three issues basically so also you might wondering how I get those retarget stuff which we will check in a few seconds but that's something I will not cover in this session there will be another session or series where we can see how everything is set up and how we can get a very smooth pipeline when it comes to retargeting animations to another skeleton. So yeah, I would say let's dive into the topic and open the IK retargeter. So it's basically from the third person template and we can reuse it without any modifications. And we now can export the animations. It's also providing an IK rig, which works perfectly fine set up by epic but we have some issues so for that at first we open the or we export the sweep animation look forward so it's basically rotating the head from the character and it's yeah it's an additive animation that's what I wanted to say it's an additive animation but as we see the base pose gets not also exported if we do it this way so it's very annoying because then we have a lot of manual work if we have many animations and yeah let me show you another issue so if we also export the base animation so we can do this as well then we see where is it sweep look forward the second one so we see that the arms or hands are basically intersecting now with the body of the mannequin and that's also very annoying so I thought hmm something seems to be really wrong but I don't but I did not know what so and then at some point I just played around with the settings and <laughs> changed it back from local space to mesh space and then I had the proper decent retarget result so I was wondering what is going on here that's very confusing so that's an issue and you can already imagine if we play back those additive animations they are basically blended together we will see very weird results with the arms and feet and so on it's it, it does not look right when it comes to ELS so also another system I think it would break as well also there is another one which we can see and for that we will use this animation so the transition animation they are used in ELS for the turn in place system and if we retarget them as well with export animations we see that some things will break as well so here 
it looks perfectly fine. Okay, we know the base type is not correctly retargeted, but let's let's take a look at the curves. So normally we, we have those animations from the animan here, and we can try to find this animation here as well. And we open this one. So we also stop playing the animations to get not confused. And we can have a look at the curves. So you would say the retarget result looks quite good. I agree, but the curves, they don't look good. They are kind of confused or I don't know. They, they, are, they have changed the names. So there is an issue here. So we have here layering arm right additive and here we have enable transition. So, and all those names are completely different. And as we can imagine already, ALS would be very confused with those curves. So that's an issue as well. So we have three issues. Base pose gets not retargeted. We have different curve names. So that's an issue since Unreal Engine 4. And we have the issue that I don't know what happens here, but somehow the arms intersect each other. If we change the ba base pose or how it's called, not base pose, it's called additive animation type from local space to mesh space, or if we change anything below below this section, let me show this to you as well. Below the section here, some things get updated and the arms look perfectly fine. So there's something not properly updated and that's the issues I had and I did not know how to fix them, but I was able to fix the implementation in IK rig so that we have basically a workaround to get things working and get a more smooth yeah, retargeting experience for us when you have complex systems like ELS. Pretty sure Lyra saw will break as well with the same issues because there are curves used as well. Additive animations are used there as well. And yeah, we might have a lot of issues. Sure, I know you now say, bro, why are you doing it this way? I don't manually export the animations. I know normally we go to the um, character assets from ELS and open the animation blueprint. We retarget it as well, duplicate animations, and we use UE4 to UE4 to UE5 many. We can change, we can give it a, a new directory. So we say here, new folder, say test, click on okay. And we just retarget stuff. It takes a few seconds. My machine is quite fast. So here we see already, yeah, the animation blueprint is also not looking good in the preview, but here it seems to be fine. And let me check also the same animations. So here's the transition animation. Here we see it has the same different names. So it's still this, it's the same implementation in the end, which we will see in the next video. And also let me show, uh, let me see if the, if the additive animation is set. So this is set and happily we are not having these issues with the arms, but at some point it will happen. So maybe some animations are broken as well. So yeah, you might have a lot of trouble to get it working properly. Also, let me check, notice no curves. Maybe the binoculars, they were broken as well yesterday. So it seems to work if we retarget them, but yeah, it, it's a lot of issues <laughs> you might have. And yeah, let me show you in the next session how we can fix this and what lines of code I wrote or changed to get it working properly. I'm very excited if it will work. It's the first time I tried this way. And yesterday I was just using it in the project, but now we will install this plugin or change this plugin in the engine version. So for that, we, or I will close the editor now and see, and we'll show you in the next session how we can fix it. See you.